Hi there guys, um, don't know if you can see me, uh, mm, I hope so, anyway, <clears throat> ever since I started on YouTube, about a year ago, I wanted to make a video, several videos in fact, about a book I read, I read it in January, just after it came out, and I haven't done it yet, um, and it was going to be one of the first videos I made, so I'll just do it now, anyway, the book is Deluded by Dawkins, uh, Christian Response to the God Delusion by Andrew Wilson. I haven't read McGrath's uh, critique of the God Delusion, and I that's very weird actually, but I will get around to it very shortly, uh, but I've heard very bad things about it. <sighs> Let me just say, I will probably come back to this book here, Deluded by Dawkins, and analyse it specifically. But I just want to say it's a very good book. Let me just show you the cover. Yeah, as I say, my camera's absolute rubbish. I don't know if you got that or not, but anyway, yeah. Deluded by Dawkins, A Christian Response to the God Delusion by Andrew Wilson. And it's a very good book. Basically, he, chapter by chapter, breaks down Dawkins' uh, arguments uh, into separate arguments, puts them in a grid, uh, and then says where he agrees with the argument, he disagrees, where he thinks the arguments are relevant to the question of whether God exists, etc. And the arguments that... And he gives little reasons. And then he says, you know the arguments of his that I actually disagree with, I will now analyse one by one in the rest of the book. So it's a very logical, very straightforward, co coherent way he's done this book. It's quite a short book. It's uh, just over 100 pages. Um, I'll show you the grid. I don't know. It's several pages long, but I don't know, can you see that? I don't know, whatever. It's a very good thing, and I don't really agree with a lot of his points. He Particularly, he criticises... Dawkins for only spending a fraction of the God Delusion actually talking about the question of whether God exists or not. But I think that's a little bit of a weird criticism to make because Dawkins attacks all sorts of elements of organised religion. Um, not just, you know, the question of whether God exists or not. I mean, he attacks what religions do, etc. Um, and, uh, in fact, uh, Daniel Dennett has said that writing about you know, arguments for and against God is not necessarily very productive because there are very few new arguments to be made on that front and they've all kind of been done to death I mean that's kind of maybe not really where the theological argument or the philosophical or the political argument should lie um, but nonetheless Dawkins does spend a significant amount of his book talking about whether God exists or not and the arguments for and against but nowhere in the God Delusion does Dawkins say this book is going to be Concerned solely with the question of whether God exists or not, he never he doesn't say that. He clearly spends large amounts of time talking about other things relating to religion, like for instance, what harm does religion do, and so forth. Um, that would be my major criticism of Wilson's book um, that he doesn't seem to have grasped the point that Dawkins never said my whole book is going to be about whether God exists or not. But other than that, the book is very Wilson's book is very straightforward, very logical, very clear. And I do disagree with it, but, and I hopefully I'll make videos on that, but I just want to recommend the book to you. Yep, again, it's Deluded by Dawkins, A Christian Response to the God Delusion, Andrew Wilson. It's a very good book. I genuinely, seriously recommend it. Uh, it cost me £5, so, you know, can't say fair on that.